in your first year, you select three different labs which you'll rotate in. And that just basically means they give you 10 weeks in that lab in which to work on a project, complete a small project, and basically experience the lab. Both the people who work there, the techniques they typically use, so that you get some idea of what being in that lab would be like. Uh, during my first rotation, I worked with Mark Lopez here. Uh, I was interested in him, obviously, because I'm interested in structural biology. Uh, then during my second rotation, I worked with Gordon Rule, who's also a structural biologist. However, instead of using X-ray crystallography, he studies uh, proteins with NMR. Um, and so I was interested in continuing the structural biology theme. And then finally, um, I decided to just go a completely different direction and try cell biology. And so I worked with Manoj. When I first got to CMU, I already knew that I really wanted to work in developmental biology. So I did rotations in the Hinman lab, the Edinson lab, and the McCartney lab. And ultimately, I joined uh, Veronica Hinman's lab because I was really inter interested in combining uh, studies of evolution with development. My first rotation, I was actually in the Schwartz lab. I was working on their cancer research project. Uh, the goal of the project is you're given these data, this data of the progression of tumor cells uh, in different cancer patients. And what we're trying to understand is how these cells evolve throughout the duration of the tumor. And understanding that, we can then have a better idea of targeted gene therapies in the future to deal with specific types of tumors. Uh, my second rotation was in the Minden lab where I was working on, a, on their uh, deep proteomics project where we're trying to be able to visualize in the same image, in the same especially gel images, uh, we're trying to visualize really high density protein as well as very low density protein to get a better idea of what's actually happening in the cell at any particular point. And for my third project, I was in the Duran lab working on phylogenetics and trying to classify different protein families that were present in the human genome. During my first year, I selected three labs to rotate in. My first rotation was in the Macbeth lab where I expressed and purified an RNA editing enzyme that I tried to crystallize to solve the structure. My second rotation was in the Linset lab where I expressed and purified a recombinant fluorescent protein with a transmembrane domain that I then inserted into liposomes. My third rotation was here in the Lopez lab where I did chip assays to monitor RNA polymerase II stalling across a gene that is recursively spliced. Um, my first rotation was in the Linset lab, which is a, Gold, uh, excuse me, a Golgi uh, biogenesis morphology lab uh, and that was really a lot of fun and it was difficult for me because I got a result which doesn't necessarily happen in all the rotations and so I was really thrilled about it and it was hard for me to know if I really liked the lab or if I really liked getting a result. Um, anyway then I rotated in the Wolford lab which is a yeast lab and they do um, ribosome uh, assembly stuff which was really neat because they have some techniques that they've kind of hammered out and so you can most of the time you can put together something that you can get a result out of and, um, and you can do it in a pretty timely fashion. Yeast smell funny though, so anyway. <laughs> and then I, I did my third rotation in the Lee lab, which is the lab that I ended up joining, and um, Tina works mostly on ER morphology.